Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. We just finished up a 16k run. That's the furthest I've run actually in a while. I was only meant to be doing an 11k run and then I got to the 11k point and just thought I might as well keep going because I was feeling pretty good. Just got home, I just finished up four rounds of shadow boxing and I always finish off with shadow boxing to cool down. We're here in my little home gym. Give you guys a quick tour. What we've got here is the ab decline bench and then we got the spin bike and our treadmill with a couple of yoga mats. In there, we've just got some recovery tools, so like my foam roller, other roller in there. Come around here, we've just got a double end speed bag, obviously, because the roof isn't actually strong enough to hold a proper bag. So the double end speed bag fits well in here. And then we just got some simple weights, just a 10 kilo barbell and two 10 kilo weights. All my news articles from boxing over the years. Um, and then down there, we've just got some of our race stuff. Come over here, just got some memorabilia sort of stuff. A few gloves that I got signed from everyone in the gym. Another pair of gloves. Some frames from the Iron Glove show that we had here in Wyala. Uh, Box of the Year trophy. And then here we've got all my trophies that I've collected over the years. My favorite beautiful belt. We've got all the trophies down there as well and some running trophies and whatnot in that cabinet. So that is probably my favorite piece of this place. A couple of skateboards and a few posters up around the wall and everything. So occasionally I like to come in here and do some of my training because it's really efficient that my room is right outside of that door so I can just jump in here and then get some training in. So it works out really well. Today, I'm going to take you guys through just a day in the life really. It's more gonna be a training day in the life. So I showed you a little bit of my run this morning and today I'm gonna to try to go swimming at one point in the day. Also, I went to my first boxing session yesterday, uh, which went really well. My shoulder held up the whole time, which was really good. It did get a little bit sore, of course, but I woke up this morning and it's feeling good. So I've got another session tonight. It's fighters training tonight. Uh, so I might as well take you guys along and show you guys a bit of that, I reckon. I'm gonna finish up with some shoulder rehab right now, like I do after every single morning run, and we'll see where the day takes us. Daily multivitamins going down, and apple cider vinegar. Okay, so what we've got going down this morning for breakfast is our staple oats. So we've got a cup and a half of quick oats in there with some chocolate caramel whey protein from my protein and some of this Mavis natural peanut butter. This is honestly the best peanut butter that you would ever, ever try. Uh, they've got a protein peanut butter as well, um, which is absolutely amazing. All of their products are pretty wicked. And then right here, we've got one scoop of whey with some hot water and we made ourselves whey hot chocolate. So that is going to be breakfast and I'm starving. So one thing that is actually arrived yesterday is something that you guys have probably seen before. I wanted one of these for a while and it's finally arrived and it is the Instaflex Australia Pulse Gun. Um, so this is a massage gun. As you see, it comes with all the different attachments just to really dig into that muscle tissue. Turn it on, it has a green LED light going down the bottom and it also has a touch screen, which is really cool. So it shows you all the speeds on here. So we've got six speeds. I've mostly been sticking it around three at the moment because uh, six gets a little bit too hectic, but it's perfect for after those runs just to massage those legs and really get that recovery in straight away. It really does get into those, into those sore spots in your joints. So this is perfect. Like right before boxing, I'll sit here for just a half an hour and I'll really, really loosen up those arms. And before I go for a run, I'll just loosen up my legs as well. I'm keen to give this more of a try and let you guys know further on down the track how it's going. But right now, I'm freaking loving it. It's so good. Oh, oh. So what I'm doing now is cooking up some lunch. So we've got just a pack of chicken breast with some pink Himalayan salt on it, some steak seasoning, some turmeric, some onion salt, and some steak seasoning. So I like to cook this all up together in the air fryer. So then I have chicken for multiple meals for the rest of the day and I don't have to worry about cooking it later. That was a bit of magic right there. So I'll put this on the chicken setting and it will cook at 200 degrees for about 20 minutes and you don't have to worry about it. And it's just as easy as that. So that is a lunch. That's going down, so we've got 200 grams of chicken with some rice and some veg. In this, I put a little bit of soy sauce, some light Greek yogurt, and some of this vegan mayonnaise, which goes absolutely perfectly together. 
no. <laughs> Pre-workout meal going down. We've got six wheat bix with some almond milk there. We've got some of this Nativia spread and this white chocolate protein spread that I'm going to put on my toast. So perfect pre-workout meal to have to fuel me for the rest of the training for these next few hours to come. All right, guys. So I've actually just smashed that bowl of wheat bix in two minutes. And I've got the rest of my toast that I've got to smash down because I've got to go to the physio. I'm already meant to be there, actually, because I've got another checkup for my shoulder just to see how everything's going. So I'm gonna absolutely smash this as quick as I can and then head off there. And then I'm gonna to go to the gym quickly, do some shoulder rehab. It depends how early I get out of the physio, get that done and then go straight up to boxing. And then we'll go swimming later tonight. I reckon that's the plan. So getting in a big feed now, to fuel us for a few more hours. Trying to make y'all comfortable right. For the record You ain't trying to grow Then it's done for you right. For the record Lab on me going all the way, all the way. For the record Ain't trying to link no time to wait Just finished up four laps of hummock Which is that top of the hill right there We did four runs all together Two we did with 20 kilo sandbags Us and our partner would hold it We'd run up Come back down We'd sprint the hill as fast as we could Come back down Take the bags Then the last one was a sprint as fast as we could Just drop in Just Smack the lip, whoop, drop down, snap, ah. Heavy shit. Trying to make y'all comfortable. Right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow, then it's done for you. Right. For the record, lab on me going all the way. For the record, ain't trying to link no time to waste. Hundred squats, hundred knees to chest, hundred crunches. Prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins on prelins are sober. My run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted.
it the full in the face and I summon and dub it Cause bitch I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them I run through the money the press will be calling Left on my blessings I feel like I'm falling the birdie is back Tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something that's why I ain't calling Phone in progression it's all that I wanted the full in the and I summon and dub it Why you be all in my line about nothing why won't you go get you a dollar or something Don't hang with a nigga who lying for nothing I see that we different you ride and I dub them I don't do discussions on bragging about hundreds Don't go to your places I know that they sunken Don't call me your brother I barely can trust it I talk to a shorty she bagging the bugging and I'm All right, guys, we just finished up at the gym. I just quickly ran across there because the boxing gym is right there and my weights gym is right across the road, which is really convenient. I'm gonna try to do that after every single boxing session that I have up there, go straight down there and make sure I'm working on my back muscles. After I've absolutely just destroyed the front of my muscles, uh, just to even it out. It was a really good session. We ended up doing uh, four laps of hummock with the sandbags. Really just been easing into it, so I did a fair bit of shadow boxing and that noodle work, which you guys seen. I'm honestly feeling really sharp, surprisingly, for not training for 16 weeks. That's really surprising, which is really good, and everything's starting to feel really good. So I'm super happy with that, and I'm really just hoping that this year is just gonna keep uh, going in the right direction, and we're gonna have a very successful year, I feel like. So it is about 6.38 in the PMs right now, and uh, I did say I was gonna go to the pool. Don't really feel like it, but I said I'm gonna do it, so I'm gonna go do it. I'm uh, gonna go get a nice swim in, probably be good, recover those muscles a little bit. So we've arrived at the pool and I've just made the one rookie mistake and we've got my goggles. So this is not going to be a fun experience, but we're going to get it done. The kid to the side, I don't know if you bitches are thinking I'm blind. Cross on my crosses and dot on my eyes. Done with your efforts, I'm dealing with pressures. I know it's a lesson, that's what it was. Dubbing the mixes, I'm mixing. I know I've been missing. I needed some personal time. Fuck all the pictures, dimensions. I don't with your digits. I mean it, I'm staying inside. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems. I solve them. I run through the money. The pressure be calling. Just finished up 20 minutes of a nice recovery swim. Feeling a lot better, just loosened up the body heaps. Um, hopefully I wake up tomorrow feeling really good. I am starving, so it's time to go home and get some good food in me before I shrivel up and die and turn into a stick. Boom, what we've got going down is the same meals that we had for lunch, is the classic sushi bowl. So we've got 125, actually 140 grams of rice in this one with 200 grams of chicken breast that I cooked up in the air fryer and some veg. What we've got is the condiments, is that vegan mayonnaise like last time, the Greek yogurt. And the normal soy sauce, it does have a lot of salt on it, but the amount of salt that leaves my body throughout the day needs to be restored and I definitely don't restore enough of it, so that is perfectly fine. I'm gonna smash this and I'll see you guys when we have another meal. So be keen to get this in me, four bed oats. Best meal, I reckon, of the day. Okay guys, so sorry if you can hear the fan in the background, it's stupidly hot in here. Uh, we're on to the last thing that I'm going to have before bed, which is uh, two scoops of casein whey with one banana sliced up into there. And then I've got some of that no sugar syrup that you guys might have seen in my previous video that no added sugar syrup and I just put that on top. I did so much training today, so I'm probably not even gonna hit the amount of calories I should to maintain my weight at the moment, um, since I am trying to work my weight up a little bit because I'm sitting below 75 at the moment. I burned about 5,000 calories plus today, which is uh, pretty intense. So it's been a really good day of training, a very successful day of training, a very good day of eating. I'm still nice and full, but I can always squeeze something in when I need to. So I'm gonna smash this and then I head off to bed. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. It was just more of a day in the life showing you guys me getting back into boxing and all my training. Super exciting things to come. Uh, and then also showing you guys what I'm eating in the day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to finish this. See you in the next one. Adios.